slash marker word factory. Hey, NL, who's your favorite crash test dummy? Um, I know a lot of people would probably say the lady because she takes uh, lead vocals on like some of their best tracks. But I'm going to have to break the mold a little bit and say the main guy, Brad something. The one who goes, Peter Pumpkin Head came to town. I know, it's a, it's a rare choice. My favorite member of that band? Mm, I'd have to say uh, the lead singer. <laughs> I'm not like other, uh, other listeners. I'm an astute listener. Anyway, we're playing Word Factory. Word Factory is, is a demo right now, a demo. It's available on Steam. It is factorial, but for letters. You start with the letter I, you've got to transform the letter I to make other letters. Let's play. There you go. And then connect the node to the node on the purple bin. Look at that. We are producing eyes. And those eyes are going to a destination. Commerce has never been this solved. Holy cow. 30,000 other players have built this word. Listen, you idiots and you assholes, you're really optimizing the speed of producing eyes. No, no, continue editing. Okay, if you're gonna, if you're gonna Zactronics me right from the freaking start, then sure, okay? Delete this son of a gun. Put this bad boy one away. Drag me up. Okay, that's that's up to you, all right? You did this to me. He's a genius. Okay, we've finished our tutorial levels. Here we go. Make an A. Shut the fuck up, chat. I can do this. I know you're like, oh, here we go. Adder right here. That's going to take one V and one sideways, and that's going to make an upside down A. And then we're going to mirror it vertically and spit it out here. Let's see how smart I am. Let's just see how smart I am. That's upside down question mark. Why is it making a question mark? Prior to you, we, we need to put the vertical rotator right here. Just get deleted for a second, okay? Vertical rotator here. And the addition happens right here. Whoops. <laughs> what? No, 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 hang on, I'm stupid. Okay, everyone shut up for a second. I got it all figured out, but you're getting in my head. You come in there, you come in there, and then you come out here. This is an A if I've ever seen one. We gotta, we gotta flip it before we add it. He's a genius. Look at this. I can feel the spaghetti coming. Factorio players, when they've colonized the entire planet and have infinite space, but the streamer uses too, too many tiles in order to make his conveyor belts. NL, I've been leaving this comment for 55 episodes in a row. You have a slight inefficiency in one of your conveyor belts. It does a curve when it doesn't need to take a curve. Instead, it could just be a straight line. Listen, you're right. Is that what you wanted to hear? Start them right over here. Maybe, oh, NL, your factories aren't symmetrical. Shut up, man! Forget symmetrical. You know where most factories are in real life? Ohio. They got bigger problems, okay? For us to produce at the same pace, we're going to want two I factories. One of the I factories is going to feed into a rotator, which will then add these two suckers together and then go straight to the end here. as an L. Okay. I know what I must do. Take an L. <laughs> it's um it's all crossed up, man. One second. I got to I got to retrofit it. You're becoming in half of an L. You're going to this one right here. What else is going to you? This. This is making an L. And then you're coming out here, and then, okay, 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 send it. I 
That's not a T. How is an L plus another line not... Oh, because it's got to be flipped fucking upside down after that. You got to give it one of these and you got to... And then you send it. Okay. Now it's just a flipped question mark. <laughs> you got to go here first. Then you go here instead. Yeah, that should do it. <laughs> I don't think I did anything. Hang on. These are two rotations and then one straight eye into a triple factory and then flip it vertically. And that's a damn T as far as I'm concerned. Ah, new F recipe found. What the hell? I made the Twitter logo. You're right. That's Tumblr, not Twitter. How about two L's? Oh, you mad genius. What about, what about two L's? And then I'm like, add them and flip them. But it's going to spit out a question mark instead of a shape. Don't put it there. Are you crazy? What are you doing? I don't think this is going to work. We might need to flip before the, the combination. <laughs> See, that is the one thing that I'm, I'm just about word factory right now. I'm just throwing this out here. I should be able to, the shapes should add no matter what. If it doesn't add it, and maybe there's a game design reason for this. It'll come up later. It's harder to debug why it's wrong when it just spits out a question mark for any error. How am I supposed to debug if it just says error? It doesn't say uh, off by one error, array out of bounds exception. It doesn't say, you know, uh, the string does not exist or something like that. The object hasn't been in memory. Welcome to coding. Bro, you fucking use an IDE, you Zoomer. Your ass is not writing this shit on like a punch card and then flushing them down into a ENIAC. Your compiler is like, here's your error. But half, half of the programmers are so stupid, they're like, I don't know what the error means, even though it tells me what the error is. Just Google it, bro. Somebody smarter than you has already made like a Stack Overflow post about it, okay? Oh, debugging is so hard. Brother, the, the, the IDE told you what the problem was. Maybe you can spend less time watching me and more time doing your damn job. Okay, let me just delete it all. Start over from zero. How's that for programming? You can't merge into stuff that doesn't exist. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This, it does exist. It's just, a, it's just a question mark. It's just an upside down question mark. It exists as a shape. It's being represented as a question mark. It's not a letter, but it could be a letter. Because an upside down T, it could, it's a question mark. If it was an upside down T, it should be an upside down T. So then I could mirror it vertically and create a, a rough right side up T. It wouldn't be an upside down T. Control Z. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Hang on. I just want to, because I think there's an elegant way to solve this problem. Let me see what the output from these two factories is. I guess I need, okay, it's, it's spitting out Fs, right? It's spitting out Fs. because we need to make two L's. So you start with the two L's instead. Excuse me, delete, delete. That's not how you do that. <laughs> Sorry, you need to <laughs> This L gets flipped. 
and then they get added together. Almost deleted it. And then they get flipped right side up. And then they become a cat. New you recipe found. I didn't even make a bend. Maybe I'm a crazy person. I feel like these two things mashed together makes a T. But maybe I can't add shapes in my head. Why is it combining them as if this is on the left and this is on the right? Overlaid, it's a you? Am I an insane person? I don't want to become a hater, okay? The, the input position should be relevant. Like, I, here's the thing. I'm not saying I can't do it the other way, because all we have to do is flip the shit upside down before we put it in the factory. But for me, I'm like, it, I feel like the fundamental laws of physics have been changed. Like, what, I, I feel like the left and the right should matter. That's all I'm saying. Like, it's not just about finding the solution. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that the solution would... Oh, God. Undo. <laughs> Hang on. We can, we can remake that. Just... You need to spit this out. You're going here. Rotated. You're going here. And then both of you are being flipped, not added and flipped, just flipped. So you're getting flipped horizontal and then you know what? Flip me, place me, flip me. You can't go into a flipper. You can't triple stamp a double stamp. Place me. Flip me, add me, truly, madly, deeply do. You can't have two inputs into one thing. They're just making up the rules as they go along, man. New tea recipe found. Okay, then we probably shouldn't flip it upside down at the end. I mean, I feel like now we understand the rules, but <laughs> at the risk of sounding like a hater, I don't think like two L's that are back to back doesn't make a U. It makes an upside down T. I feel like I gotta add, like I gotta do an MS Paint drawing. If you take, an, if you take two L's back to back and you push them together, they become an upside down T. Then you grab it like this and you give it a little lick and then you go and it's a T. That's the way that it, it made sense to me. But instead, you got to take the if you if you do two L's back to back, it becomes a U. Then if you what you got to do is you got to flip the two L's first and then it becomes a T. Even though for me, if it's like that, that's an upside down U. And then you give it a little lick. It becomes a U, but whatever. It overlays them. It doesn't overlay them. The way that it actually works is there's a motherfucking recipe in the game that says two L's put together in any configuration. Like if they're, if they're right side up, it's gonna make a U no matter what, even if they went into the machine like that. There's a recipe in the game. It's not, there's no secret sauce if you squint, if you imagine, if you focus your vision through your monitor, the negative space makes a U. There's a, there's a recipe. It's a chemical reaction. Two right side up L's in any configuration makes a U. It's, it's H2O.
then what are you complaining about? I was under the impression that you were adding together shapes, but you're not adding together shapes, you're cooking. Now that I know you're cooking, well, then it's too easy. <laughs>